Hey, well, welcome back for another video. So in today's video, I'm going to show some amazing results with this coil for channel flex coil special purpose. And uh, we're going to do a few scans. So one of the results is like this, like this, and this. Without further ado, stick around and I will show you. Hey, for those who are new, my name is back again. I'm an MRI radiographer. In my channel, I'm covering things from basic to advanced MRI topics, tutorials. If you haven't subscribed yet, considering doing so. The four channel flex is a very powerful coil. I mean, it's only four channel. So do not get fooled by the small number of the channels because it's not always having the highest channel will give the best results because the four channel is so packed. If you have something small you want to image and the coil can cover that area, do not hesitate to use that coil. Like I mentioned, the penetration of this coil is not far. Also, uh, the coverage is not big, so it's very dedicated. And um, I'm going to show some results with the orbits today. And yeah, let's go to the scan and I'll show you. All right, before we do the scanning, I just want to show you how we did position the coil. So this is me lying on the scanner and uh, we have 3T. And uh, you can see the coil is somehow wrapped around one eye. This is the orbits I want to image. So I put the coil like that. And uh, yeah, so let's show you some the scanning part. So I did a few 2D sequences, a T2. And uh, as you can see here, the resolution is high. The scan time is not that kind of high either. We're using deep learning here. So the sequence, this sequence takes around two and a half minutes. And then we did a T2, T1, also diffusion. A lot of sequences we just test around and see how far we could go with this coil and uh, i will show some of the results pretty soon so we did a coronal we did uh, yeah transversal oblique all kind of different positions so let's go and see some of the results all right so this is the results this is a uh, oblique coronal you can see the details here the muscle you can see the muscle right here there are so much details, as, as I said, it's a very dedicated coil. So if you go out here, you can see the burn right here is too much signal intensity. And you can see the noise coming here. But in the center where you position the coil, we get so much signal. So the field of view here is 100, the matrix 480, and uh, it's interpolated. And people also ask me, I'm interpolated. What does that mean? How can you do the calculation? The calculation is very easy. All you can do is you take the the field of view divided by the 480 matrix interpolated. That means 0.2 voxel sizes interpolated. But without interpolated, you can just times this by 2. And then you have the acquired one, which is 0.4. This is how you can do it. So this is also T2 transversal. You can see the details right here, which is uh, the area of interest. It's T1. Also here, you can see the noise is coming in here. So the penetration is not that far, but if you have a uh, air of interest out here near the coil, it's magnificent. A stir, I'm just wondering if the stir was good enough for this kind of purpose. It is, it is. Only two minutes with the deep learning on. So the position of the coil is very important. It's very, very important. As you can see in the sagittal, there are so much details in the images right here. But it's also a little bit difficult imaging the orbits because it demands you to lie still, relax. But if you keep moving the eye, it's, it's a lost case. So it's important to give enough information and the patient know how to, to, to lie there. And the diffusion, we're using the diffusion zoom in pro. It seems to be working as well. So it's amazing. Took around three minutes here with a very small field of view. 75 and then uh, we did the zoom it i also have a calculator right here well that's it guys i hope you find this video valuable or interesting before we close up i do have a question for you have you used this coil before if so let me know in the comment section down below if you like this video do not forget to push the like button and hit the subscribe hit the notification bell so we get a ding ding whenever next time i'm putting out our video until next time take care and i will catch up with you